Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome if you're one of my subscribers. Welcome back if you're new to my channel. I'm glad you found me. I hope everybody had a very awesome Halloween. We had a very nice time. We got to do some socially distancing fun with our two grandchildren and our son and daughter-in-law. So I was very happy about that. Um, the weather has definitely turned typical November. We had our first snowstorm, in fact, um, on October 30th. So we've already gotten our first snowstorm of the season out of the way. Luckily, it stayed cold, but the snow melted, didn't really stick around. So uh, there was able to be some outside fun for Halloween. So, in any case, what I have today is I thought I would take you along with me shopping to a couple of my favorite Dollar Trees and let's see what goodies are out there and then I will follow that up with a haul. So let's go! So here we are at my favorite Dollar Tree. I love these floor mats. I'm having a tough time deciding which one I want. A lot of Christmas. I always make a quick run through the toy aisle. We have that Hot Wheels track. Awesome. Look at the selection so many tumblers to choose from. What a decision. And here are some mugs if you're looking for some non-Christmas mugs to use as gifts, maybe for your co-workers. They had a lot of nice choices. I really liked the eyelashes on that one. I could use that one with the paw prints. And more Christmas, there was things stuck on all the little end caps, so you really had to walk around. Now these caps, I thought, for those that are into making their own gnomes, those would be some cute little hats that you could rework and use them for your gnomes. Some more Christmas items. I wanted to show you cute things. Again, these are those reusable mop heads. Quite a variety, seemed well worth the dollar. More chair pads. I could not find any of these last year. And now I'm coming up at my second Dollar Tree. I spotted these mugs. Really nice for a Christmas basket. And they had quite the selection of Christmas cards. Can you guess which one I picked? And this was a new item. They're floor mats for your car. Really fun stocking stuffer. And I loved these mailboxes. They were quite large. This was the first time seeing them that size. So in preparing for this winter that is already here, I was happy to find this weather strip seal. This is the Tool Bench brand. It says it's good for around door frames, window edges, window frames. You get, um, let's see, 17 feet weather strip seal. Foam self-adhesive tape keeps out drafts and humidity, blocks insects, dust, and pollen. This actually would have been good, too, to put around my window air conditioner. But our house was built in 1920. There's lots and lots of drafts. So I thought for a dollar, I would definitely give this a try. Um, if it works well, what I'm going to do is run back and get a few more packages. But definitely winter is here, so I'm going to spend an evening this week and try this out. So if any of you have used this, please comment below what you think about it, and I certainly can fill you in on how I think it works. But for a dollar, I thought, hey, definitely try it out. 
And so while I was in that tool bench aisle, I found this little kit of precision screwdrivers. I thought this was really cute. It has a uh, Phillips head and flat head, three of each. It has the size like that works well to repair your eyeglasses. Um, also, if you ever buy the little light sets from the Dollar Tree that run on batteries, like at Halloween, I had the little pumpkin ones, the little bats. I know at Christmas, they certainly bring them out. A lot of those on the back have um, the back where you put the batteries in. It has one tiny screw. And so this has the little Phillips head screwdriver in it that will work perfectly for that. But what I'm actually going to do with this set is I put together gift baskets at Christmas. Um, just little things, you know, we, we keep the um, money spent low. And that's why I like finding the things at the Dollar Tree because I can give everybody a little bit more variety. Um, but so for one of my nephews, I'm going to put this in his. If you've watched some of my earlier hauls, I got like this awesome like headlight on a headband, um, this like eight in one little tool. So I've picked up some various things for him. So this is another item that is going to go in his little gift box. And so speaking of those gift baskets, the next item I found, now in the shop along, I think I got some footage of this. Now this is a Bolero product, so I've seen plenty of Bolero products at the Dollar Tree, but I have never seen this. It's shampoo and conditioner in one, and it's a men's um, cedar wood and eucalyptus for all hair types. I just really liked the packaging of this um, little bit of plaid, kind of like almost like a, a Ralph Lauren vibe. Um, let's see if it, I think this one, yes, it does have a seal. Yay, because I've told you all before, I have purchased things, the caps have been loose and it's dumped everywhere all over my other items. So I can't smell the scent, but if you see these in the store, pop the cap and just make sure you have one with a foiled seal on it. But so I thought this was really cute, so I got this for um, one of the men's gift baskets. And um, I have it in the shop along, they had one other scent. But so I picked this one. Uh, the next item I found in that aisle, and this will go in one of my nieces. I'm doing her like makeup, beauty products, um, self-care type of gift basket, is this Eco Tool Bamboo and Charcoal. Softens when wet. It's infused with bamboo charcoal, 100% natural Asian root plant fiber fiber to gently remove dirt, oil, and makeup from even the most sensitive skin. Bamboo charcoal is known for purifying, enriching, and its restorative benefits. So a little Eco Tool facial sponge, 100% natural, vegetable fiber, safe for sensitive skin. So this was the only one I saw in the store, but I thought, hey, I'd get that to go in my, um, Niece's basket, so I was happy to find that. The next item I thought was super cute, and it's this squeaky crinkle bone. So my plus three, they're all going to get a little turn at this. Um, I was looking, there was a camouflage pattern, and um, then there were some solid color ones. But I liked this, the gray and white little uh, pattern on the dog bone. And this is a good size. You know, my dogs are all little. They're, they're all seniors now, so they're not so much into, like, shredding their toys. So they like to just, you know, have little easy games of tug-of-war or, you know, fetch or something. And, again, if it... If it doesn't, you know, have longevity, that's okay because, again, a dollar, I thought it would be a cute little present to give them on Christmas morning. 
They love like, you know, playing with the wrapping paper. We crumple that up, throw it at them. They just really get into it. So I like them to have some of their own little treats too. So I'm sure there's others out there of you that spoil your pets. You'll have to let me know. But I thought this was cute. Um, yep, just Greenbrier product, the Kennel Club dog toy. So I was glad I found that. And uh, one of the main reasons why I even went into the Dollar Tree was to get a card. So just I needed a um, birthday card. We have lots of birthdays coming up now. So I grabbed that. It was 50 cents Heartline. It's a Hallmark company. Pretty envelope. So grabbed that. 50 cents, you cannot beat the price of their cards. I also picked up these Christmas house gift tags. I really thought these were pretty. There's different, the bird with season's greetings, the plaid, happy holidays. My favorite, I think, is this merry and bright. And then there's merry Christmas and joy. Um, you get 25 pieces in here. They do have a little hole that you can punch out if you want to hang them with a string. I'll probably, I don't know, I may do both. The Dollar Tree, I have some twine left from last year. Some real pretty, um, like red and white striped twine and then some natural jute. So I'll probably tie them on to things. Um, I've talked in earlier hauls that I'm making tie-dye socks for um, all my nieces and nephews and so I got all the supplies at the Dollar Tree, the bum socks and the tie-dye kits. Um, maybe if anybody's interested I could do a little video showing you how I am plan on going about tie-dyeing the socks and then packaging them but I'm going to in any case use these tags on the package of the socks. Um, I did find another Christmas item too. I don't know. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to really like this. I have been in dollar stores, you know, well, constantly. I'm in them, con I'm in my favorite one constantly. And there's been, you know, a lot of choice. Um, but when it came to Christmas cards, they've been extremely picked over. You know, big, like all like messed up, looks like people have pawed through them all crazily. Well, now I think I know what they were looking for. I mean, I am sorry, this is absolutely gorgeous. They had another card with a red truck on it, but it just wasn't. Um, I just think this one is stunning, in all honesty, stunning. Merry Christmas. It has like sheet music behind it and then this truck with the red and black buffalo check and the Christmas tree in the back and it says best wishes for a wonderful holiday that brings fond memories to last a lifetime and you get 12 cards. I just thought this was super sweet. So what I would like to do too speaking of cards is that um, you know if anybody any of my subscribers, anybody would like a Christmas card from me, I will try to remember to link my email in the description box below. But certainly if you go to my page, you'll find my email there. And um, I would love to send you a Christmas card. So, and um, maybe it'll be one of these. <laughs> And on to a couple more Christmas things. I have a variety today, but I found, I just thought this was so cute. It's called Party Pals, and it has the little place to and from you could actually write on the back. But it's the Palmer um, Chocolate Candy, a product of USA. Um, I was trying to see if this has the ounces on it. 3.5 ounces. So I've certainly seen plenty of Palmer chocolate sold at the Dollar Tree, but I've never seen these little party pals. I thought this little Santa was really cute. My guess is maybe as time goes on, they're going to come out with, you know, maybe another one or two characters, a snowman perhaps. Um, 
but I thought this Santa was really cute. So I picked him up and I'm going to put him in my Christmas Eve box that I do for my husband and I. So I got him. Another Christmas candy I found. I love these. Um, and again, Palmer candy, at least at our Dollar Tree, is always available. But this is like a limited edition one that comes out at Christmas, and it's the Pretzel Bites. I am telling you, these are so good. The expiration date on this isn't until June of 2022, so you have plenty of time to eat it. It will never last that long in my house. It's a 4.5 ounce bag. So it's chocolatey balls filled with crunchy pretzel pieces. So I grabbed one of those and I'm sure the next time I'm in the Dollar Tree I'll be picking up another one of those. Um, the other candy I was really excited to find is this Lint Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffle Bar. Again, I got two of these. I'm going to use them in the Christmas Eve box that I do for my husband and I, so I wanted us each to have one. So in that box, I'm going to put um, these, and I'll probably take them out of this and put them in like one of the little treat bags that I got from the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to put these, the two of these, and then I also got two of these. These things are delicious. Russell Stover's, the caramel um, covered in milk chocolate. Now my Dollar Tree had these last year and um, I didn't buy them right away. I was like, oh, because I'll eat them. I'll get them closer to Christmas. Well, you know, come around Thanksgiving, I could not find these. I was usually able to find the chocolate covered marshmallow ones. Um, but not the chocolate covered caramel. So I was like, I smartened up this year. And so I bought two packages, one for hubby, one for me. Um, I think so that I'm not tempted to eat all this candy beforehand. I think I'm going to put it in the freezer in a bag and just hopefully out of sight, out of mind. We'll see how that works. But um, that's my plan in any case. The next item I picked up is this tablecloth. I thought this was cute. So this is a red and black plaid. They also had one that I was very tempted and almost got, but put it back. Um, and it was a holly pattern, kind of vintage-y looking. And the only reason why I put it back is because I have my placemats from the Dollar Tree last year. And... Um, I want to just reuse those and I think they'll look better against this tablecloth because the holly is kind of busy with my placemats that are kind of busy so I needed something more solid. But they had, um, I'm not sure if I have any footage, I don't think I was able to get footage of the tablecloths, um, but they had like four different patterns. And I like this because it has the flannel back to it so it just gives it that little bit of extra like strength something um, for your table as opposed to their sheer plastic ones. So this is the 52 inch by 70 and my table is small that I usually can um, cut these and so I can almost get two uses out of them. And, you know, if, if I decide I don't want to use this, like, for my actual, like, holiday um, dinner table, this comes in perfect to put down to cover the table to do things like make Christmas cookies, especially with my grandkids. Um, they're at the age I just like to let them do it hands-on, but they are still young, so you can imagine frosting everywhere. Um, they usually eat more candy and frosting, it seems, than ends up on the cookies. But so I think this would come in perfect for that. And the last item I got that I'm going to share, and I definitely have some footage of these, but this is the one I picked. North Pole Tree Farm. I thought this was adorable. It's the floor mat. Now these are super thin. I purchased one in the fall and I 
tried to use it outside and it just didn't work out even layered the wind and stuff it just for me it didn't work out so what I'm going to do with this um, and what I ended up doing with the one in the fall was put it under um, my dog's water dishes in my kitchen so it worked out absolutely perfect for that so I had made a mental note oh when the Christmas ones come out I have to make sure to grab one so they were all different designs but I went with this and it's a little washed out I think on camera the evergreen color is actually pretty deep um, yeah see on the camera it's looking pretty whitish but in any case I was very happy to find that so I thank everybody for taking the time out of their busy day to join me today. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful, peaceful night. And until next time, be well.